Hello from Seoul. Are you looking at the takeout menus for ordering some food? Come on, you deserve better than that. Instead of ordering takeout, just bring out your cabbage that's always been lying around and invest only 15 minutes. Then I dare say, you can't have a nice and delicious meal that you ever had. All right, are you guys ready? Let's get started. As always, let's start with the easiest one, cabbage rice bowl. With this bad boy, your breakfast, lunch, or even dinner will always be happy. For this, you will need cabbage, green onion, and a bowl of hot rice. That's it. But if you could add some bacon and egg or any other protein, that's gonna make it even more delicious. First, slice some cabbage. Not too thin, not too thick. We're gonna need about 2 cups. Next, green onion. Cabbage doesn't have a strong taste, so I strongly recommend adding this green onion because as you guys know, this bad boy makes everything taste better, just like magic. So please be generous with this. And lastly, cut some bacon into thin strips. That's it. Now place a pan over medium heat. Add 1 tablespoon of oil and bacon and cook for about 1 minute. Once you've got good color, add 1 teaspoon of minced garlic, green onion, and saute for about 1 more minute. And then add the cabbage, 1 teaspoon of soy sauce, half a tablespoon of oyster sauce, a few shakes of black pepper, and stir fry for about 2 minutes. What? You don't have oyster sauce? Then you can add some more soy sauce or salt to, to taste. Still gonna be good. Once the cabbage is cooked through but still crunchy, using a spatula, make a little space in the middle. And then into that empty space, crack an egg and cook to your liking. Since our hungry bird likes sunny side up, I don't have any choice. But if you want to completely cook it, then cover it the lid. No problem at all. Alright, let's get some rice in a bowl and gently cover it with our cabbage blanket. And last but not least, sprinkle on a lot of green onion and toast these sesame seeds. How does it look? Looks absolutely easy and delicious, right? Alright, let's call our taste tester. Flair. Oh, it reminds me of oyakodon. Looks pretty. Can't wait. Cheers! Mmm! 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 씹히는 게 너무 좋네. 음, 베이컨이랑 대파랑 간장에서 나오는 그 향이 샥 배어 나와가지고 밥이랑 너무 잘 어울려. 음, 감칠맛이 엄청나다. 맛있다. 이거는 호불호가 없겠는 걸? 너무 맛있는데? 음, I love it. So good. The next one is Korean street toast, one of the most iconic street foods in Korea. Normally, people have this for their grab-and-go breakfast, but it can also be a great lunch or snack, so you can get excited. For this, you will need bread, cabbage, carrot, green onion, egg, sliced ham, and some cheese. Here, the carrot and green onion, they're mainly for color, so if you don't have them right now, you can skip them. No problem at all. Again, let's start off with cabbage. Cabbage is so crisp and crunchy, which is a good thing. But if it's too big or too thick, you'll feel nothing but only cabbage. So slice it up as thinly as you can. What? Your brain says, okay, but your hands are saying it's impossible, just like Claire? <laughs> Alright, then. Just use a vegetable peeler. That's gonna be better for your inner piece. Once you're done slicing, soak it in cold water for about 10 minutes and drain. This is gonna help reduce the bitterness in your cabbage and make it more crisp and fresh. Next, in a small container, add 3 to 4 eggs, a pinch of salt, and give it a little bit together. And then add some chopped green onion and carrot. Normally, street vendors also add cabbage here, but not today. Let's make a little stage for our cabbage so that he can be the star of the show. 
Now generously butter both sides of the bread and toss them in the pan until golden brown. It should take about 1 to 2 minutes on each side. Once that's done, place them on a wire rack. To the same pan, add 1 tablespoon of unsalted butter and heat it over medium heat. Once the butter is melted, add in your egg mixture and let it cook for about 2 to 3 minutes. And then when the bottom turns golden brown, flip and cook the other side. Once it's completely cooked through, grab a spatula and cut it in half. Last but not least, in the same pan, add some sliced ham and toast them a little bit. Alright, it's time to assemble. I'm gonna start with a generous pinch of sugar. I know some people might say, what? Sugar? Yeah, I know it sounds weird, but it makes a big, big difference. Actually, if you try it in Korea, it's not a generous pinch. It's more like a heaping tablespoon. But I knew you are gonna be freaked out if I add that much, so I adjusted it. So sometimes, please show me your love with unconditional faith. This bad boy is not gonna let you down. Anyway, on top of that, add your egg, ham, and today's hero, cabbage. How much? As much as you want. Once that's done, drizzle on some ketchup. If you're not a big fan of ketchup, you can totally switch it up with your favorite sauce like mustard or sriracha. Now all you gotta do is top it up with some cheese and bread. That's it, nothing complicated, right? But once you try, I'm pretty sure it's gonna be your new favorite breakfast menu. Alright, let's see how it tastes. Claire? Oh, Gekkori Toast! Ready! <laughs> this time, let's make some pancake. But this pancake doesn't have a flour in it. It sounds more appealing, right? For this, you will need cabbage, potato, green onion, egg, and some cheese. Not that many ingredients, right? Again, slice some cabbage nice and thin. Let's just make today a day to practice our knife skills. You can't have that knife skills like Claire forever, right? What? Yours is not that bad? Yeah, it can't be that bad. Next, slice one potato into thin matchsticks. The starch from the potato is gonna help hold its shape. And beautifully cooked potato will make your pancake taste incredible. Once that's done, chop some green onion. Cabbage pancake is not a sweet pancake. It's a savory pancake. But sometimes, it can be a little greasy. So add a little bit of freshness with this bad boy. As always, more green onion, more delicious. Lastly, take two strips of bacon and cut them into thin strips. I'm using bacon today just because I have leftovers from the first recipe. But you can also try with other proteins such as beef, chicken, or shrimp. So just use what you have in your fridge. That's the best. Now let's make the better. Into a bowl, break four eggs and add a generous pinch of salt, some black pepper, and whisk them all together. And then add the cabbage, potato, green onions, bacon, and give it a quick stir. Alright, we're set. Let's get cooking. Add 1 tablespoon of oil into a pan and heat it over medium heat. Once it gets nice and hot, add half of the mixture and let it cook for about 2-3 minutes or until the bottom turns nice golden brown. After that, flip and do the same thing. When both sides are done, remove it from the pan and set that aside. And just like before, make another pancake with your remaining batter. And then once you've got good color on both sides, sprinkle some shredded cheese on top. It's gonna be like the more, the better. So be super generous with this. Now all you gotta do is bring your first pancake and place it on top. And just wait until the cheese is melted. That's it. Alright, let's transfer it to a serving plate and cut it into pieces. Since it goes so well with ketchup or sriracha, don't forget to serve it them. You wanna know how it tastes? Alright, let's call Claire. Claire? Wow! 
Look at how big it is. Let's dig in. Mmm, cheese ball. 약간 뭔가 잔뜩 들어가 있어가지고 약간 오코노미 약기 느낌이 있네. Mmm. Let's try. 잘 만들었지 한 입에? <웃음> 음, 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 너무 맛있다. 약간 계란찜 있지? 계란찜이랑 그 오코노미 사, 약기 사이에 있네, 진짜. 음, 소개가 따뜻하니 너무 맛있어. 음, 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 먹어볼게요. Ready? 음, 역시. It gives extra kick. So good. So good. 굳이 한 가지 아쉬운 점을 꼽자면 치즈를 더 많이 넣었어야 될것 같아. The more, the better. Lastly, let's make some jolmyeon. Korean spicy chewy noodles. Just like bibimgoksu, this is so great, especially in summer. So if you're in summer right now, you can get excited. For this, you will need cabbage, carrot, lettuce, a hard-boiled egg, and some spaghetti noodles. Actually, for this, we gotta use jolmyeon noodles. But it's kind of hard to get this, right? So let's just replace it with spaghetti noodles that are lying around. But don't worry about it, it will work pretty good. First, let's prep the vegetables. Thinly slice 100 grams of cabbage, which is a little more than a cup, and soak it in cold water. And then the same thing goes for the carrot. Once that's done, take two or three lettuce and just roughly chop it. Here, the carrot and lettuce, they're more of an aesthetic thing. But without them, it's just cabbage and spaghetti noodles. Nobody would push the like button on your Instagram. So let's put a little more effort into this. You won't regret it. This time, let's move on to the sauce. In a small container, add 4 tablespoons of Korean chili paste, 1 tablespoon of soy sauce, 3 tablespoons of sugar, 4 tablespoons of vinegar, 2 tablespoons of Korean chili pepper flakes, 1 tablespoon of toasted sesame oil, and 1 teaspoon of Korean beef stock powder. Last but not least, let's add 3 tablespoons of Sprite and give it a good mix. Here, some of you might ask, Aaron, why do you add soda to your food? It's weird. Yeah, I totally understand what you think, but it's not just for the sweetness. It's gonna add like a refreshing taste to it. Trust me, you're gonna be surprised. Now let's cook the noodles. Depending on the brand, the cooking time can be slightly different. So make sure to follow the package instructions. For information, I recommend cooking your spaghetti noodles to al dente. Once it's done cooking, give it a quick rinse and let it sit in cold water for a few minutes so that the noodles can be cold. And then strain out all the excess water. Alright, it's ready to go. Let's place it into a serving bowl and top it up with some cabbage, carrot, lettuce, and egg. And add 3 to 5 tablespoons of the sauce depending on how spicy you want it. And finish it up with a generous pinch of toasted sesame seeds. Alright, it's done. Let's see how it tastes. Claire? Mmm! It's so good! I don't know if it's a bibimbap. The sauce is so so beautiful! There's noodles. Oh, It has to be super red. But so the nice Ready? Mmm. Mmm. Oh, it's so good. Mmm. 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 It's so good. 야채도 많아가지고 되게 건강해지는 그런 느낌이야. 음. So refreshing. 너무 좋은데? 아니 근데 원래 쫄면에 무조건 콩나물이 있어야 되는 거 아니야? Because 쫄면 is all about the sauce and the textures. The chewiness from the noodles and crunchiness from various vegetables. I blame you! <laughs> so, if you can get soybean sprout, feel free to ask them. It's gonna be fantastic too. 만두, 먹다 보니까 또 만두도 생각나네. 만두! <laughs> Today, I showed you four cabbage recipes that only take under 15 minutes. How was it? Pretty amazing, right? From now on, you don't have to spend lots of money on takeout. Just pick one of those recipes and treat something nice to yourself. 
Once you try, you will see yourself writing a comment like thank you. Oh, you will. Alright, this is it for today and I'll see you next time.